Hey, Happy Campers, Todd here, Great American RV. Today we're going to go over our Coleman air conditioner systems. We're going to go over how they operate, a little bit of diag information, and how to maintain them. Let's go over some quick operation. Let's step over to our thermostat. Going over the operation of our AirXL thermostat, starting with our main button on the AirXL. If we hit that once, that will bring us to our fan options of low and high. If we leave it on either one of these options, it will run just the fan only. And this will not cool the unit. It's just going to operate that fan and circulate air throughout the unit. If we hit it one more time and go into our cool option, we have the options of keeping that fan on high, low, or auto, low and high. Now, this option here, the fan will cut off when the compressor cuts off. Your low and high still operate the same, it's just the difference in fan speed, but with that auto on, it will only work when the compressor is on. Now, during those summer months where it's really, really hot, we want to keep it under cool high. This will help the fins go ahead and dry off in between cycles of the compressor and less chance that the AC is going to freeze up. Once we have it set wherever we want as far as the, the cool operation and the fan, we go ahead and just pick our desired temperature and let it run. So we've gone over operation, our thermostat, we know how to use it. Let's go over a little bit of maintenance. Maintenance is required pretty regularly when it comes to these vents right here. If you pull these off and you can get access to your return air vents and you pull them out, it's just a little screen as we can see. This screen can be cleaned off with an air compressor blower. You can get a damp cloth and wipe all the dust dirt off of there. And main thing is if you have animals, you're gonna wanna clean that quite regularly because it's really good at picking up dog hair and cat hair and so on. So you wanna clean both of those filters on a regular basis. And another thing that we can check is our divider on the interior to make sure that we're not mixing air whenever we're doing this. So we can see here we have this divider in the middle that has this foam on the sides and on the top and that foam will begin to deteriorate over time and it will allow cold air to come in on our return side. It will cause a lot of humidity inside there, keep those fins wet and it will allow it to freeze up. Once it freezes up, it's not gonna allow air to circulate and your unit is not gonna cool. So we wanna make sure that this stays sealed really good. In the event where it doesn't look sealed or you see where air is blowing through there, we can get this silver HVAC tape right here, tear a couple of pieces off and put it on the sides and across the top where it meets the top unit and make sure that we're reducing the amount of airflow that travels between the two. Next tip is up top on our AC. We would remove this top cover right here and do a little service on our condenser coil. So in removing your shroud, you wanna make sure to be careful and not damage any of the fins on the back. That's part of what you're coming here to check is you wanna make sure that these fins are free of any debris, leaves, dirt, uh, dirt divers, any funk like that. Make sure that your power is off on your AC. Go click that breaker off. Before you come up here, you don't wanna have any ex unexpected power ons of the air conditioner. So once you're up here and you have access, you wanna get some AC condenser uh, coil cleaner. Take it, shake it up real good, and spray it onto these coils, probably twice if they're real dirty, and just allow all that stuff to come down. You can hit it with a water hose if you need, a light, light hit with the water hose, so like a spray mode or something like that, you don't wanna hit it with a jet because once again, that'll damage these coils. So if any of these fins are damaged, you can get a fin tool at any local hardware store and straighten those fins out. This is important because this is where the air circulates to cool the, uh, the unit inside. So if these fins are blocked off or if they're blocked up with a bunch of dirt and debris, then your AC isn't gonna function like it should. So that'll keep it from cooling your unit and it's gonna keep you hot and sweaty. So let's touch on a little bit of diagnostics now that we've covered our maintenance. Diagnostics, is our AC not working? Let's define not working. Is it not cooling? All right, so if we have air blowing out and everything seems to be okay, but it's not cold air, we need to keep a couple of things in mind. These air conditioners only have a 20 degree split. That means that the air being pulled in to our return versus the air being pushed out is only gonna be a 20 degree difference. So if it's 100 degrees or more inside this unit, 
you're only gonna get 20 degrees less temperature coming out of the vent. So let's say it's 100 degrees, you're only getting 80 degrees output. Until the air in here circulates enough to where the temperature is 80 degrees and it's pulling in 80 degree air, then you're putting out 60 degree air. That's the only time when it's gonna really put out cold, cold air. So don't expect this air conditioner to cool the whole unit off in a matter of a couple of hours if it's 100 degrees inside the unit. It's always best to start your AC units early in the day versus midday when it's actually warm inside. Another thing that can happen as far as why it's not cooling is it might have froze up. Once again, we check that divider, everything seems good there. If our air conditioner is close to a entry point where people are going in and out, we're getting a lot of hot air mixture in there and it could cause those fins to freeze up. So one way we can avoid that happening is we go back to that fan cycle like we talked about, leave the fan on high all the time, and that will go ahead and keep those fins drier in between cycles of that compressor and reduce any opportunity for that air conditioner to freeze up. In the event that it does freeze up, what do we do? Well, kick the cooling portion off, leave the fan on and allow it to go ahead and melt. You're gonna have some water dripping out of here, put a towel down, make sure it doesn't make a mess. And it's probably gonna take a good 20, 30 minutes, maybe more depending on how badly it's frozen up to defrost the fins. You can get a good eye on it by removing those filters that we talked about, shine a light up in there. And if you see any ice on that unit, then we need to go ahead and let it keep running. Now in the event that it's not froze up, our filters are clean, our divider is good, we've checked all those things and it's still not cooling. And in this event, it's not even cooling cooler than the air that's being put into it. Maybe we have like a five degree split or a zero degree split. It's pulling in hundred, it's putting out hundred. Then we might have an actual problem with our air conditioner, all right? You can call our service center or book an appointment online at greatamericanrv.com. Make an appointment so we can pull the amperage readings, check the temperature split, and see what's going on with that air conditioner. And more than likely, we would have to replace that top unit. Now, there are other things that can go wrong with it. Uh, if our fan is not coming on at all, it could be a breaker. We wanna make sure that our 110 power is good from our power pole into our unit and check our breakers, make sure nothing is tripped. We also wanna check our 12 volt fuses. Make sure that our 12 volt fuses are good because that's what operates our thermostat and our circuit board. And if all those things are good, we can't find anything else wrong with the system. Once again, we wanna call and book that service appointment. So we've gone over all the maintenance here, all the diagnostic information that we can and how to operate our unit. We hope you enjoyed our video, educated yourself on how to properly use these units and reduce any freezing up. Keep watching Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, wherever you found us. Click like, share, notify, all those awesome things. And keep watching here at Great American RV Superstores where we bring the how-to to you. Make a memory.